Hi there, and welcome to Microsoft Advertising. In this video, you'll learn how to use Audience Network Planner to best target your audience, see how many people would see your advertising, and set a budget for your audience campaign. We'll use a fictional running shoe company for this demonstration. To access Audience Network Planner, go to Tools, then trace to the planning column on the left, and click the last listing, Audience Network Planner. When it opens, you'll see an Ad Format dialog box. Microsoft Advertising offers three ad formats, image ads, feed ads, and video ads. We'll use image ads, the most common ad format for this demonstration. Click Next to begin using Audience Network Planner. In the left column, you'll find naming and target options. Personas are the name of the audience targeting list you'll build. We'll name it later in this video. You can target by location, age, gender, and audience type, more on that later, company, industry, and job title. You can use the tooltips, the question marks, to get more information about targeting features. We can save the persona name for the end. In the middle of the screen is the audience size estimates. These numbers will change as you set targeting options. Each tab, demographics, location, interest, and device, shows how the selected audience's composition compares to the network average. Let's go back to the demographics tab before we move on to estimated performance. You'll see default settings for the entire network. As you target different audience segments, the estimated performance metrics will change. By default, all countries are selected. So start with the specific geographic areas for your business. In this example, we'll select Washington and Oregon. You may have to scroll to find specific locations. Click Save. And notice how the audience and estimated performance have changed too. Always check unknown under age because many people don't confirm their age. For gender, the fictional retailer sells running shoes for men and women, so no need to add targeting. You do want to pick specific target audiences. And this is where audience targeting can really help your precision marketing. The Microsoft Audience Network provides a series of different audience types. For this demonstration, we'll use the most commonly used type, in-market audiences. There are nearly 1,000 audiences available, so I'd recommend searching for one. Here's a tip. Search for a broad category first, like shoes. Then it's easier to find the subsets to apply to your targeting. Click the plus sign to apply it to your targeting, and then click Save. The estimated audience sizes will adjust, and so will the estimated performance metrics. To learn more about audiences, use the tooltip to get a description and links to learn more. Company, industry, and job function are part of our LinkedIn integration. If you're a B2B or business-to-business -business marketer, these can help better target those audiences. Now, let's get back to the fictional shoe retailer. With the different target options selected, you can see how many people the shoe retailer could reach each month and how the selected audience compares to the overall Microsoft audience network. In this example, 75% of people live in Washington with your targeting. Clicking the Interest tab will show what other topics your audience cares about. Besides athletic shoes, this targeted audience also looks for activewear. You may want to consider other relevant interests to reach as many people as possible with your advertising dollars. Looking at devices, many people are on their desktop computers and a significant portion use their smartphones. Let's focus on estimated performance. The initial view is a default daily budget. It's how much the system recommends you spend per day to reach as many people in your target audience as possible. You can change it to any value you'd like. You're always in control with Microsoft Advertising. For bid strategy, there are two options. The first, Manual CPC, lets you set a limit on how much you want to spend on a click. The other, Manual CPM, lets you limit how much you want to spend for 1,000 ad impressions. 
Many advertisers with ROI or ROAS goals use manual CPC, while brand advertisers tend to use manual CPM. You can change your daily budget, bid strategy, and bid to see how your performance metrics will change. Don't forget to click Get Estimates to change them. If you change the daily budget below the system default, you'll see a suggestion icon. You can take the suggestion or enter your own value. Under Monthly Estimates, you can find how your ads will perform based on the daily budget, bid strategy, and bid. At this point, we can name the persona and apply it to your account. You can enter a new persona name or overwrite an existing persona. Click Save when you're done. To apply to your account, click the Apply to My Account button in the upper right corner. You can create a new audience campaign or apply the persona as an ad group to an existing campaign. If new, simply name the new campaign and verify the daily budget, bid strategy, and bid. Don't forget to name the ad group. You'll need at least one ad group under a campaign. After you click Save, the campaign will be created under your campaign and you can begin your advertising.